Peace YouTube, who is Sugar? I'm back to show you guys how to achieve this wash and go with the top knot and it's really simple. Baby, the tools you're gonna need for this hairstyle include a comb for parting, bobby pins, those click clackety things so that you can have your hair separated, a ponytail holder, or if you have a lot of hair like me, I just went ahead and used a knee high, and you're gonna need a brush. Oh, and your fingers. Oh, and you're also going to need a scarf. The products you're going to need include your favorite non-flaking gel, some type of oil. You can either use a jojoba oil or a coconut oil. I use coconut oil for this hairstyle. And you're going to need your favorite leave-in conditioner. Now, to make it easier on yourself, I find that it is absolutely necessary to do a little bit of prep work. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and section your hair. You're going to do this before you jump into the shower to go ahead and shampoo your hair. So section your hair from corner to corner, or I don't think we have corners on a head, from ear to ear section. And you're going to take those sections and you're just going to put like a knot right here and a knot right here. Do y'all hear the water running? Because I'm washing clothes and the pipe for the water is right here. It's loud. And they're making noise outside. Anyway, now that your hair is sectioned, what I did was I hopped in the shower and I did a co-wash. And with the co-wash, I just used my fingers to finger detangle my hair. And of course, you're working in sections. Now that your hair is completely co-washed, now it's time to begin the styling. So the first step is to create the ponytail bun area. I applied a little bit of the leave-in conditioner and I followed up with the coconut oil. Now you're gonna take your favorite non-flaking gel and you're just going to apply it on the hair that's going to be touching your scalp. So you don't want it on the loose part of your hair. Once you have the product evenly distributed through your hair, you're now going to take a brush and you're going to brush your hair upward, smoothing down your edges. But be careful because this area is really, really sensitive and too much manipulation can cause some breakage and hair loss. You're then going to apply your knee high or your ponytail holder. For me, I prefer to use the knee high because my hair is so dense and using a ponytail holder is a no-go. It gets tangled up and I end up snatching out my hair and it becomes a complete mess. All right, so now that you have your ponytail secured, take the loose hair and just drape it around and use one of those click clackety things to secure it. Next, you're going to take your scarf and you're going to apply it to your edges so that you can have it nice and smooth and tie your scarf so that it goes underneath your hair in the back. All right, now that your scarf has been applied, now we're going to work on the wash and go part of your hair. You're gonna take a section of the hair from the back. I used about a medium size section, but medium is relative. You're going to take the hair that you're not using and you're going to pin it up and secure it out of the way with one of those click clacks. Now comes time for the wash and go, which is really not a wash and go. It's actually a wash and put a whole bunch of products up there and do this manipulation and then wait for it to dry and then you can go. But this is totally easy. I'm telling you the whole process takes me about 45 minutes. What? That's a long time. No, from shampooing in the shower oh. to finish my hair. Now, when I began the wash and go process, I found that my hair was a little dry, so it may help to just spritz your hair with a little bit of water. You don't want your hair to be too wet, but you don't want it to be too dry, so sort of damp. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna apply your favorite leave-in conditioner to the area, and you're gonna use your fingers to rake the product through. Next, you're going to apply some coconut oil to the area and just rake it through. Now you're going to apply a little bit of gel and rake it through. Now when you apply the gel, apply a little bit at a time and just add more if you need to. And once you begin to rake the product through your hair, you'll notice that the hairs begin to clump together. And once I have all that completely finished, I like to take the hair and smooth it between my fingers. One, that helps the coils and the curls clump together and two, it helps remove any excess product. Now we're gonna move on to the next section and we're going to do the same steps all over again. You're gonna apply some of the leave-in conditioner to this section, rake it through with your fingers, apply a little bit of the oil, rake it through, apply some of the gel, rake it through, and once you get the curls to clump together, you're then gonna take the hair between your fingers, smooth it down to remove the product. Now I will say this with the wash and go, it will only enhance what you already have. So if you don't already have curly hair or coily hair or textured hair, it's not gonna magically help your hair to produce all these curls and coils. So keep that in mind. Also too, you may notice that you have different hair textures like me, so the back part is a little looser than the top part. So when my hair starts to dry and it starts to shrink, I have a bit of a shelf happening here. But that's okay because we're gonna rock it anyway. Now that you have the wash and go portion completed, now we're gonna do a little bit of work on the top. 
So the only thing I did was I applied some leave-in conditioner, followed up with a little bit of the coconut oil, took it in sections, and created some big old jumbo two-strand twist. I then secured it into like a bit of a knot, using one of the little click clackety things to keep it in place. Now you want your hair to dry. Now you can do a couple of things. You can sit under the hair dryer, which nobody really has time for that, or you can let it air dry naturally. And also keep in mind how long it takes for your hair to dry would depend on how much product you use, how damp your hair was to begin with, and the porosity of your hair. It really didn't take my hair too long to dry. And this is what my hair looks like later on that night. Now here's my hair the following day. You probably wonder how I slept. What I did was I slept with the scarf on my hair and then I put a bonnet all on top of that. And you may have to take the hair and like pull it down because it may shrink up a little bit. If you find that the shape is just completely unacceptable, what you can do is just band the hair so you can just take your hair like so and then you can just put like the cloth ponytail holders all down the length of the hair. Let it sit like that for about 30 minutes and then you'll notice that you have a little bit more length. Now it's time to work on the bun part. You can leave it with the two strand twists and be fabulous with yourself or you can create the illusion of a taller bun by taking the hair, undoing the two strand twist and just draping it around the bun. But just make sure that you cover up the ponytail holder or the knee high. Now for me, I didn't want my bun to be too tall because I find that when I'm in the car, it gets to be weird and my hair is like scraping up against the roof of the car. Now if your hair is not as full as mine, the way you drape it, you can give the illusion that you have like a big old enormous bun. And just use some of your bobby pins to pin it into place. And voila, that is it. You now have a top knot slash wash and go hairstyle. I find this hairstyle to be really, really simple. It's cute. It lasts me all week and I will insert photographs if I remember to take pictures of myself of how it looks. It'll last me about a good seven days. When I start to hit the seven day mark, I start to look a little shabby, but that's okay because then you can like slap a hair wrap on it and go about your business. Now here's the finished product. I'm going to insert a few photographs. This is me being fabulous outside and then it's like the top of me being fabulous and then they're building a house outside so the man was like blowing dust and stuff everywhere and I'm like I know you see me over here trying to be cute and stuff and dust is flying all over everywhere and getting all in my hair and things so then I had to bring all the action indoors so this is what my hair looks like under studio lights because I'm going to stay under natural light but yeah this is what my hair looks like so yeah that is it for this quick hairstyle tutorial I hope it was quick I hope it was helpful to you all as a mommy of a little girl I have to try to come up with hairstyles that's really simple and easy for me Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and I will see you all next Tuesday at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you have not done so, subscribe to my channel because I upload videos every week. If you missed my last video, I'm going to post it like somewhere here on the screen or somewhere. So go ahead and check it out. Alright guys, I'll see you then. Be blessed.